This is Philip Ripple, and this is the story of his forever lazy life. It's been about uh, two months since I've moved around by myself. It's kind of just like, I don't have the desire to do anything. You've no idea what it's like. I have a full-time job that I go to every day. And I have to come home to him and take care of him. I give him his food, give him his drinks, give him the remote, clean up after him. Just gets ridiculous, you know? You didn't open the lid. You didn't lift my arm. Are you kidding me? I'm not doing that. And it, it smells so bad down here. You know, I, I try to do what I can to make it smell better, but there's only so much an air freshener can do. Well, whenever I get tired, I just kind of fall over and go to sleep. When I get hungry, I shout for my brother. Then when I have to go to the bathroom, I just go. It just doesn't make any sense. I've never seen such excessive laziness. But I think I know what the problem is. I got this for a gag gift last Christmas. I never even opened it. My brother comes over one day, sees it, decides to try it on. He's been in my house for the past two months, sitting on my couch. It can't be a coincidence. It's, it's got to be this thing. And he's too lazy to take it off. So I have this idea where while he's sleeping, I'm just going to cut that blanket hoodie thing right off his body. And hopefully when he wakes up, he'll be back to his old self. And if not, God help me. I guess that thing is a strange effect on people. I feel like I've been sleeping for the past two months, but now I just had this strange urge to go outside and do something productive.